Hi everybody! Today we will be exploring the Atsuta Shrine in the city of Nagoya in Japan. Considered to be one of the most important shrines in the country, Atsuta Shrine is still shrouded in mystery up to this day. Upon entering the western tori or entrance gate, we came upon a small shrine dedicated for studying. Students wishing to pass the test in their schools often wrote their wishes on the temple wood and hang it. As we walk to the main temple, let me tell you about the legend behind the shrine. According to folk tales, the god Susanu encountered a grieving family of Kunitsukami, gods of the land, in Izumo province. When Susanu inquired the father, he told him that his family was being ravaged by the fearsome Yamata no Orochi, an eight-headed serpent who had consumed seven of the family's eight daughters and that the creature was coming for his final daughter, Kushinada Hime. Susano investigated the creature and returned with a plan to defeat it. In return, he asked for Kushinada Hime's hand in marriage, which was agreed. He instructed that eight vats of sake be prepared and put on individual platforms positioned behind the fence with eight gates. The monster took the bait and put one of its head through each gate. With this distraction, Susanu attacked and slew the beast with his sword. He chopped off each head and then proceeded to the tails. In the fourth tail, he discovered a great sword inside the body of the serpent, which he called Ame no Murakumo no Tsurugi. He presented the sword to the goddess Amaterasu to settle an old grievance. Generations later, during the reign of the 12th emperor, the Tsurugi was given as a gift to the great warrior Yamato Takeru to protect him in times of peril. It came in handy when Yamato was lured into an open grassland during a hunting expedition by a treacherous warlord. The Lord had fiery arrows to ignite the grass and trap Yamato in the field so that he would burn to death. He also killed the warrior's horse to prevent his escape. Desperately, Yamato used a tsurugi to cut back the grass and remove fuel from the fire. But in doing so, he discovered that the sword enabled him to control the wind and caused it to move in the direction of the swing. Taking advantage of this magic, Yamato used his gift to enlarge the fire in the direction of the Lord and his men, and he used the winds controlled by the sword to sweep the blaze toward them. In triumph, Yamato Takeru renamed the sword Kusanagi no Tsurugi, or Grass Cutter Sword, to commemorate his narrow escape and victory. Eventually, Yamato Takeru married and later fell in battle against a monster after ignoring his wife's advice to take the sword with him. Since we know the legend, here is where the shrine came into existence. Atsuta Shrine was originally founded about 1900 years ago when the sacred sword Kusanagi no Tsurugi, one of the imperial symbols, was enshrined. Atsuta was chosen as the site for the shrine by Miyasu Hime, wife of Yamato Takeru who had died leaving the sword in Hikami. Ever since, Atsuta Shrine has been specially revered by people, ranking second only to the Great Shrine of Ise. The shrine has not only enjoyed special privileges of the high officials, but it also won popularity among people who call the shrine by the familiar name of Miya or the shrine. Moreover, the geographical character of the fertile Uari Plain has fostered a faith in Atsuta Shrine as protector of agriculture. The shrine buildings were maintained by the effort of devout generals of successive times, such as the shoguns of Muromachi and Ido Shogunantes, Nobunaga, Hideyoshi, and the Tokugawas. In 1893, the shrine was remodeled in the same style of the building as the Great Shrine of Ise. In 1935, the shrine buildings as well as other facilities were completely rearranged and improved so that it came to assume the grandeur of the Great Shrine of Atsuta. Unfortunately, during World War II, more of its buildings were destroyed by fire. After the war, 
reconstruction begun by the combined effort of all devout worshippers all over the country. The main buildings were completed in 1955, and the remaining construction was steadily underway to perfect the shrine as a great spiritual center, equipped with modern facilities for cultural activities as well. You might be wondering what happened to the sword. Well, due to the Shinto priest's refusal to show the sword and the rather unreliable nature of its historical references, the current state or even the existence at all of the sword as a historical artifact cannot be confirmed. The last appearance of the sword was in 1989 when Emperor Akihito ascended the throne. See you again next time guys. Bye!